Are we really ready? I think so. So as usual, we want to be playing something. And we think what we want to play is the movie. So let's play some of that. Yeah, that'll work. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Pentatonic Parallel. Part 5, Shadow Notes, Part 2. Today, we set out to review the two musical snippets that we composed today using the idea of shadow projection. And we also reviewed the music visualizations that we had worked on. So the first result is that we did a cleaned up music uh, snippet 01 visualization, which you can kind of see in here. It's got an upper light bar and a lower gray bar and a black bar in the middle. And this is a visualization representation of our idea of all 12 notes of the tempered scale are like the sun and they're projecting onto the sidewalk and then here we have objects that are in the way which are scales and then the the darknesses and the lightnesses on on the sidewalk are the projection shadow the shadow projection so so here, that's kind of what that was. And so we did it. So then we said, now let's try taking our second snippet and work with it and maybe make a music visualization as well. And we did that. And so we reallocated everything. We put all of these voicey opening tones into the first melodic and then the everything that was a backbone, including these fast uh, six, 20 second, 16th notes are the backbone and everything else pretty much the same. So we did that. Then we exported them into MP3 files and, and made it a project called Snippet 02 Visualization and have all of the sounds together, the backbone by itself, the dark, the light, and the melodic. And we came up with this. And we learned quite a bit here. We, uh, it's going to be a little bit loud, but we'll play it for you here, and then we'll show you the movie we made out of it. So the idea is, and it's easier to show you on, on this, the, the vertical Y axis there and the horizontal X axis vibrate and play based on all. And then these three things in the middle Actually, there's four things in the middle that correspond to these four parts. The melodic, the backbone, the piano, uh, or the light and the dark. So let's watch that movie. Here it is. And we kind of like the movie and we kind of like the snippet. So then we said, well, let's quick, let's add the French horns and oboes that we liked so much in the last uh, composing series. And so we ex experimented a bit and uh, we decided to use horn for the light part and oboe for the dark part. And this is what we have so far. 
and we'll turn the mic off just to listen to this. It's the same composition you just heard, except we've changed the timbre. <laughs> So, ideas for next steps. We did quite a bit of reflection up here. Um, how do we represent projecting both light and shadow with musical elements? Explore this further and explore the French horns and oboe timbres and maybe some others some more. Um, it was interesting, but there's still some a lot of tweaking that would have to happen there for it to sound quite as good as we feel that the piano sounds. Let's listen to this one more time. So the piano doesn't overwhelm the solo vox. That's, that's the key point there. So we look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Appreciate your attention and interest as we go further with shadow projection, the theme. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>